Welcome to Bamton Racket Review and to this final test session of 2018 and to racket number 611. This is the Yonix ArcSaber 69 Lite. Let's go through the specification and as with the Nanoray 68 Lite, it has a 30 pounds maximum string tension, 30 pounds. Uh, now the other spec on here is it says it's a 5U in weight, 5U would be 75 to 80 grams in weight, however the E-Zone testing shows this racket to weigh 80.3 grams, that's still, that is still seriously light as a racket, seriously light. Now the, the shaft stiffness is not shown on the racket, but the E-Zone testing shows the, start, the shaft to be medium flex so it's a medium flex racket and the balance from the e-zone the balance testing shows it to be a head heavy racket now that's not a bad combination is it so it's not too stiff it's not too overly heavy and it's lightweight i think that's the combination for a good racket personally um, now the availability as with a lot of these uh Rudy Rudy Hartona, I always pronounce it incorrectly, sorry about that. Uh, these specialist rackets, uh, the European availability is quite limited, hence we sell them at www.badminton-racket-review.com. Uh, we sell these particular rackets because they're good performers and everyone should get access to a good performance racket, especially at the 80, 90 pound price mark for a Yonix racket. Yonix racket. They're available quite commonly in Asia. Badminton Bay is a big seller of them and other places um, but I think um, in Europe it's a bit more limited so you, I think uh, uh, we're one of the only places that sell them. Um, now in terms of the design it's a red black and gold design uh, it's, it's, it's okay to look at nothing wrong with the design it's not exciting to me um, it, it actually reminds me of some of the older designs by Yonex as opposed to some of the more current modern funky looks but take a look at the close-up video here and tell us what you think of the design. Okay, so it is court testing time. Let's go to the E-Zone court tests. So here are the Badminton Racket Review E-Zone key points for testing. Firstly, all rackets are restrung with the same string. Or well, they were, but this is now no longer being made, so we will be shifting to this string from 2019. All rackets are restrung to 25 pounds of tension. All rackets, 25 pounds of tension. We use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s for the control, maneuver and smash test. The player in the smash test uses the same velocity or same power or as much as is humanly possible to do so for each test. The control test, obviously it's the same player with the same abilities. And the maneuver test, well, it's a fairly isolated range of movement in fairness. That's all the key information for you. Let's get back to the court testing. The E-Zone smash test is first on the list. The E-Zone smash test is designed to reveal the racket's smashing potential, which measures the shuttle speed in kilometers per hour, and also gives us the relative speed of the racket head it's a great test. Let's do it now.
let's move across now to the E-Zone manoeuvre test. Uh, in this test we want to see what maximum speed the racket can achieve from rest. In this test we measure the head speed of the racket, recording the fastest speed achieved in kilometers per hour. The player is isolated to move the racket in only one direction, which is upwards, from a rest position as quickly as possible. Finally, we're going to do a control test, see how good this racket is at controlling the shuttlecock. In this test, we place four large buckets in front of the player. He aims for the green bucket every time. Every shuttle in the green bucket scores maximum. Shuttles going into the grey bucket score less and anything in the net or out doesn't score at all. The clip we show you here is half or less of the total test that we do. So all the testing is done and what do we think of this Arc Sabre racket? Well we can tell you for its weight it gives really good power, it offers good control and its weight to speed and weight to power ratio is really really good so definitely a thumbs up. You're not going to buy this racket and feel like I think the only considerations you should have are timing, um, it certainly doesn't make hard work of getting uh, the shuttle around the court. It doesn't feel slow, it feels fairly nippy. Uh, it offers a good all-round game. So this test session has been really unique. We've come across some rackets that just perform really well and this is definitely one of them. Uh, it definitely should be on your racket list of choice. If you want to know everything about this racket, go to the E-Zone go to the racket page it's £1.99 to £9.99 depending on the length of subscription with the e-zone it includes a very detailed video of every single shot we've taken with this racket and what the experience was in terms of feel because the e-zone scoring system gives you the technical quantifiable results but if you want to know the feel of the racket the video gives you that and there's literally no more that you could need to know about racket before you decided which one to go for uh, and we talk about defense we talk about smash we talk about drives we talk about overhead shots it's pretty thorough um, the video so go to that um, if you go to the e-zone you go to our website this is the kind of experience you should expect <laughs>